I rise in support of the Emerging Homeowner Relief Program Termination Act. And, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here and I, I hear that, that we're mean-spirited. And it, it makes me think of the last year that I had with my father before he passed away. I spent a lot of time with my dad because I was taking him to the hospital. He had lung cancer. And we had to sit and wait often more than an hour to see the doctor to get his tests or to get his chemo. And I asked my father, knowing that his life was nearing an end, what was the toughest thing he ever had to do? My father told me the toughest thing he ever had to do was tell his children no. Sometimes when you're a child, you don't understand, you, you ask for things, and whether it be new hockey skates or a new baseball mitt or whatever it may be, and a, and a good parent sometimes says they can't afford it. Well, I don't think it's mean-spirited to step up and, and answer the message, not that we're sending, but the message that the American people sent us, that we cannot continue reckless spending. And this program, to put it right back on point, this program is the poster child, the poster child of waste and reckless spending. It's not me, it's not anyone in this chamber that said it's going to be subsidized 98 cents on a dollar. We will lose 98 cents on a dollar. The administration said that. 98 cents on the dollar. We cannot continue to spend on programs that are failing. That is the definition of waste. And we were sent here to cut the spending, to stop the waste, for one reason. So that we can grow the economy. And when we grow that economy, we actually create jobs. The whole point, if I understand the argument on the Democratic side, is that these people have lost their jobs. Did How much time has expired? 30 seconds. Additional 30 seconds to the gentleman. The recognized for an additional 30 seconds. Thank you, Chairman. And for that reason, the answer is not more failed programs. It's growing the, the economy and creating a job. We need to give them hope, not false hope. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you. Gentleman uh, yields back to gentleman from Alabama Reserves. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, 